Hey guys, this is Daniel with Joe's Gaming and Electronics here with a repair video. Today, I'll be showing you how to replace the battery board on a Bose SoundSport Wireless. All parts and tools that will be used in this video are available on our website linked below. So let's get started. We have our Bose SoundSport unit here. We're gonna take the left side we're going to be opening it. This is where the battery and the battery board is. So first things first, we want to heat up around the edge of the cover. That way we can soften the glue up, make it easier to open up. We don't want to use too high of a temperature because that will ruin the gloss finish and it will also ruin the rubber. Next, we're going to use a flathead, kind of go softly around. Opening up the glue here. Next, we're gonna heat it up a little bit again, get this glue even softened up a bit more. And we just wanna get under the cover, grab the little ledge, and pull it open. There we go, got it off. This glue is a little too strong at times, but gotta be careful. Now we have our battery and our battery board. So we're gonna be saving this battery, but we're gonna be replacing this battery board. I'm clear off the glue that's on the edges here a little bit. We'll be gluing the cover back on later. Now we want to slowly get this battery out. If you just kind of press it on the side, it'll lift up. There's a bit of adhesive on the bottom here. Just put it to the side. Now this is where we got to be really careful. We got to heat up these two stubs right here. But it's also very close to the edge, so we want to heat them just quick enough to soften them up and then left them out, but not to damage the edge of the housing. There we go. We can use the tweezers, boom, that quick. Now, the help of our helping hands here, we can unsolder the battery on both sides, the red and the black, and also the green, the copper, and the covered copper co uh, wires. I have my soldering iron here. Just gonna wait for it to heat up. We'll get the battery off first. So we know that the black, the negative ground, is gonna be on the side of the board with no chips visible. Get that off. Now if we rotate it, the positive and the hot red end wire is gonna be on the side with the chips. Get that off. Boop. Right there we have our battery. Now we're gonna flip it back over. We're gonna get rid of those three wires. Green, copper, and the covered copper. There we go. That's our battery board. Set it aside. Then we have our good one here. We're gonna clip it on. 
gonna solder our battery on first. So we have the black wire connects to the side with no chips on it. Double check our solder job. Looks pretty good. Now we'll finish up with the three wires that connect to the unit. So here on the very end, we have the green. Then we have the copper. And we have the covered copper. Now, we're gonna need some clippers to clip off those stubs so our board can fit back in there. So there we go, we have our clippers. Just slowly clip around the stub, just so we can make a smaller diameter so the board could fit back on. So now we want to position with the black wire, the ground on the top, the battery being facing us. We could sit that battery board in there. Gluing is not necessary, but if you feel like it is, Put some glue on both of these tab, uh, these stubs, and it'll hold the board in place. But there's not any buttons here like that, and it looks like it's pretty snug in there. So we'll just leave it how it is. Now that we have changed that power board, or the battery power board, we can now get back to replacing our battery side cover with the help of B7000. As always, we're gonna go around the full edge. There we go, we got glue all the way around. Being a little liberal, but better safe than sorry. That way it'll have a nice great seal. Now we just place it evenly. Boom, and it fits perfectly. Now we have a rubber band. We'll just put it around. And there you have it. Let it glue for a couple hours. Afterwards, you take that rubber band off and you can clean it up. And that is how you replace, replace a battery board on a Bose Transport Wireless. If you guys have any questions regarding this repair, comment in the comment section below and we will do our best to reply to your comments. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.